Ectopic pregnancy is usually considered an obstetrical emergency, which it could be fatal, leading to the death of the woman, even when she does not know she has ectopic pregnancy. What is ectopic pregnancy? Ectopic pregnancy occurs when the fertilized egg gets stuck at the level of the fallopian tube. Normally, an egg is fertilized at the level of the fallopian tube. It moves from the fallopian tube into the womb. But what happens in ectopic pregnancy? It gets stuck there. So today, we're going to be talking on what are the causes of ectopic pregnancy and how can we prevent ectopic pregnancy? What are the risk factors of ectopic pregnancy? Welcome everyone, this is Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Noella, where we tell you everything about pregnancy and other women related health issues. So today we're going to be talking about ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy is a very, very serious condition, which it can lead to the death of this woman without her knowing that she even had ectopic pregnancy. Why? The first symptom that occurs in a woman who has ectopic pregnancy the first thing is she comes and she can even she has, she comes with all the signs and symptoms of pregnancy has missed her period she has breast tenderness nausea vomiting like, like any woman who is pregnant but all of a sudden she might have lower abdominal pains most lower abdominal pains mostly at the left or the right side of the lower abdomen those are where the tubes are usually found so if you have missed your period and you've done your pregnancy test and it's positive and out of a sudden you start feeling a right or left lower abdominal pain, you should start thinking of ectopic pregnancy, especially if it starts increasing. So some women don't even miss their period. Why? Because you see that the, what happens is that the fallopian tube is of different diameters. So there are some parts which are small and some parts which are big. So if this fertilized egg gets stuck at the part which is big, it might take a longer time to know it, that it was an ectopic pregnancy. So it might be at two months, getting to three months before she even knows she has ectopic pregnancy. If the fertilized egg goes and gets stuck, but at the, at the level of the smaller diameter, what happens is, it means that the baby starts growing at the fallopian tube that means the baby starts growing at that smaller part so it just takes just a little bit of growth of that small baby to burst open that fallopian tube and by the time you want to even by the time she wants to miss her period this this um, tube must have already ruptured so there was actually a case which um, I followed up which we we from from when when she came and presented her case of a sharp a sudden sharp pain she didn't even know she was pregnant it was just almost the time she was still to miss her period so when we consulted her evaluated we discovered that it was already a ruptured ectopic pregnancy so she, this woman did not even know she was pregnant but thank god she survived so once you start you have missed your period you know you're pregnant you start having sharp pains especially if it's increasing you start having spottings we call that mild light bleeding which is usually darker in color we can be confusing this with placenta bleeding but we should take note once you start having severe lower abdominal pains especially either on the left or the right side and it's accompanied with spotting it's always important you consult nearest health facility so that ectopic pregnancy should be ruled out that's why i always advise every woman once you discover you are pregnant what's the first thing you do you do an ultrasound scan to know if this baby is at the level of the fallopian tube or is inside the womb so now what causes this, this ectopic pregnancy first thing is it caused by a blockage in the tube because if it's blocked the fertilized egg cannot pass so what usually cause what can cause a blockage inflammation either from infections or some other surgical procedures or it could be just a malformation of the fallopian tube which tends to twist so the fertilized egg cannot easily pass also other hormonal imbalances can cause this kind of delay at the of movement at the level of the fallopian tube 
so that's what actually causes for ectopic pregnancy now there are risk factors that exposes you to a high chance of having an ectopic pregnancy the first risk factor we have is if you had a previous ectopic pregnancy before any woman who has had an ectopic pregnancy before has a higher chance of developing another ectopic pregnancy than a woman who has not had an ectopic pregnancy before secondly sexually transmitted infection that's usually chlamydia syphilis gonorrhea these are the most common infections what happens is that inside the fallopian tube there are some structures which help to move the the, the fertilized egg from the fallopian tube into the womb so this infection these sexually transmitted infections what happened they have high affinities for these structures in the fallopian tube so when they go into this fallopian tube they destroy this fallopian tube once they have destroyed that thing so they fertilize it cannot actually move so there they get stuck at that level so it's always advisable if you have an infection a sexually transmitted infection treat it as fast as possible you and your partner you treat yourself equally some choices of family planning which is most of the time most common is the intrauterine device most women who get pregnant why they have the intrauterine device the first thing we should always check is to rule out an ectopic pregnancy they has it is rare to occur but if it does occur these are some ones that increase the chance of you having an ectopic pregnancy also surgery is done at the level of the tubes you might have for example a fibroid which was at the level of the tube and it was removed during surgery and so that time maybe the fallopian tube must have been touched so those those are surgical procedures which involve the fallopian tube so it's always important if a woman gets pregnant after a surgery which has touched the tubes it's important she does an ultrasound scan immediately to make sure she doesn't have an ectopic pregnancy also smoking in is a increases the risk of you having ectopic pregnancy ways in which you can prevent ectopic pregnancy is first do screening for sexually transmitted infection if it's present you treat yourself properly and that of your partner and if you're exposed to any smoking or you have to stop it and get rid of it women who have infertility problems there are some procedures some medications that they take which also increases their chances of having an ectopic pregnancy the best advice i can give to every woman is once you discover you are pregnant the first thing you do is an ultrasound scan to discover the location of your baby whether it is at the fallopian tube or it is at the right position from this is going to tell you whether you have an ectopic pregnancy or not so thanks for listening if this was helpful please give a thumbs up to our video and if you have any comment please drop it on the comment section and if you need a consultation with us you can book a consultation using this link below so thank you very much and have a blessed day